With Microsoft Dynamics AX, products can be configured with a choice of attributes and constraints can be placed on specific combinations of those attributes. Let's look at a product configuration model. For this product, a woman's dress shirt, clients are able to choose the fabric, sleeve length, button type, and other various elements of the shirt. These are listed under attributes. There are constraints for two of these attributes, stating that only shirts with cuffs are able to be embroidered. Constraints outline restrictions and ensure that only valid values of the attributes can be selected when the product is configured. Subcomponents reference existing components and encourage the reuse of components in multiple product configuration models. User requirements provide more detail for a specific customer's need regarding a certain attribute. BOM lines represent the individual materials of the components in the product configuration model. Now we'll create a sales order for a woman's dress shirt. To select the specific attributes that we want for this dress shirt, we'll choose Configure Lines. In the drop-down menu, we can choose an option for each attribute. In the beginning of this video, we set constraints on sleeve length, stating that only sleeves with cuffs can be embroidered. By selecting a shirt with cuffed sleeves, all of the embroidery options are available. When we leave the embroidery option selected, we are only able to choose a shirt with cuffed sleeves. When we remove the embroidery selection, we are able to choose any sleeve option. We can also hide the embroidery option altogether. Note how it no longer shows. Another constraint option is to make the invalid options unavailable, as shown here in red. We'll select these options for our sales order. The sales order automatically generates a variant number for the shirt we just configured. This number can now be used to track the order throughout the system, for returns, and for more. Let's confirm the order. The receipt outlines our configuration choices. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.